Hello, today uh, the title of the video is uh, Practical for Us uh, Investment uh, uh, Tips and Tricks for Active Investors. All right, so in fact, uh, Practical Foreign Exchange Investment Tips and Tricks for Active Investors. This video is for somebody who is not uh, a typical uh, trader or somebody who is uh, a position trader. All right. So I want to share with uh, traders that uh, spread betting, uh, okay, scalping. There is another way that one can uh, intervene in the uh, foreign exchange market, all right? Uh, this is the purpose of this video, so you also may know what you can do, okay, with uh, the currencies, all right? So I'm on a monthly chart of the pound, a Swiss franc, all right, GBP, CHM. I need to remind technical traders, especially new traders or traders that are struggling, that uh, it's not easy to trade this currency pair. It's quite challenging because it moves very fast. If you place a trade, in fact, your broker may be asking you for a lot of uh, okay uh, stop loss. All right. So therefore, uh, I, I want to warn you: if you are those of you who are trading this technical trader who want to trade this, you need to be very, very careful because it's not for babies or children. Okay, that's that. Okay, practical foreign exchange investment tips and tricks for active trader. Look at this chart. All right, so the price did one, two, three. Come down. Minimum price move is free. Now, for traders that are following us at the two, four Elliott wave, who understand the price structure, you know that if the price from one to three. Uh, and fail to find a resistance, or right? found a resistance below that key level after going down like it did here, it has a high chance to go up. This is what uh, okay, technical traders are playing here. The price is now forming, it's not yet completed, it's now forming a double bottom chart pattern. So the double bottom chart pattern will become truly, truly bullish. Well, when it breaks above the, the nut, this is the nut here, all right? So it's developing, all right? So looking at this chart now, okay, I'm on a monthly chart, all right, we are talking about the pounds, the British pound, the British sterling pound, and the Swiss franc, all right, so what can we deduct from that, looking at this chart, it's looking bullish, yes or no, it's looking bullish, so we will say the British pound has a more chance to appreciate against the Swiss franc, yes or no, all right. All right. So what we are saying by saying that the British pound will strengthen against the Swiss franc, we are saying that the Swiss franc has a more chance, okay, to be weakening against the British pound. That's exactly the same thing that we are saying. All right. So as an investor, suppose you are in uh, Switzerland and you see this chart. All right. This chart is telling you. All right. You are, uh, our currency, the Swiss franc, has a high chance to be depreciating against the pound. What can you do, practically speaking? So, your bank account, your wealth is in uh, Swiss franc, and you know that soon that uh, currency will be depreciating against the pound. What can you do? You will start buying the British pound. You will convert some of your money, all right, into British pound. As an investor, if you look at this chart and you are in Switzerland or anywhere in the world, all right, if you have a bank account that is in British pound, you may decide to start taking money from that bank account that is in sterling pound and convert it into Okay, uh, if you have, uh, sorry, my apology to trade, if you have money, a currency like Switzerland franc, right? if you, you have a bank account, okay, with a denomination in Swiss franc, you will be using, okay, portion of that bank account that is in a denomination of Swiss franc and uh, start buying, all right, the British pound. So somebody, for instance, who is in Switzerland, or somebody who got a bank account with a denomination in Swiss franc will be converting a portion of that uh, okay amount by buying British pound, expecting the British pound to appreciate against okay, okay 
they street from. Are you getting the message? So instead of just trading, instead of scalping, instead of day trading, instead of swing trading, looking at this chart, all right, one can adopt a different approach, a, an investment approach, by buying a hold currency, by converting, for instance, a Swiss franc into British pound. Now, I need to remind traders that this video is not uh, a financial advice, it's for educational purposes only. Uh, it's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell the British pound, a Swiss franc currency pair. All right? So, think of it and let me know okay, how you see this video because uh, I want to go it one more time, especially for I know that a lot of traders already understood it, all right? but I want to go over this again for some traders that may not understand everything that I've said. All right? Let's go over it one more time. I'm going to draw something on my chart because I want you to understand. So suppose all right, you have a bank account, okay, and that bank account is in Swiss franc. Right? You have another bank account, okay, or even you don't have that bank account, or you open another bank account for the British pound, okay. So you have two bank accounts, one in Swiss franc, one in British pound, or you have only one bank account in Swiss franc, and now you you want to buy the British pound. Why are you buying the British pound? You want to what you are doing in fact, you know that the British pound will be strengthening against this currency pair with this currency which is a Swiss franc. But you have Swiss franc now, so what do you do? You convert, start buying the British pound with your Swiss franc. That's what you will do. But this approach is not a short term approach, it's a long term approach. Right, the same thing they did here. Minimum price move is free. Trail is broken here. That's what they did here. It's a long term approach. It's not for scalping. It's not for day trading. It's not for swing trading. One can use this strategy if one is a technical trader. In this case, one will be talking about position trading, holding that position for long term. Now, though we are talking about a chart here, before you will implement that investment strategy. You will go around and do other due diligence, looking at the economy of uh, Great Britain, looking at the economy of Switzerland, so what can affect that investment strategy that you want to deploy. So it's not all about looking at a chart like this and just do it. But the first indication as a technical trader looking at this chart, we will be saying that it looks bullish at this point or it may continue to oscillate between the level of uh, what are we? One two five zero zero and a level of one three two eight five. So we ups down between those two key level or between one two five seven seven and one three two eight five. That will be what we will be thinking. But in uh, talking about long term view, all right. If we have an account that has a domain denomination in Swiss franc. At, at this stage, we may say, all right, we may convert half of that account and use it to buy the British pound. Because we know that the British pound will be appreciating against all right, uh, the Swiss pound. This is an exercise that uh, the wealth managers are doing all the time. So they're looking at currencies. So you are day trading, you are scalping currency, but there are wealth managers playing in the forest market, in the foreign exchange market. So they are transferring wealth in a split of a second because of decisions that are made. So for instance, Federal Reserve say, or are we going to all right, start uh, okay, putting up interest rate? That's uh, the bell, that's the ring, the bell that is ringing for an investor. What people will do? All right, people start buying the dollar for a long term. So people were buying the dollar. That's why, if you, if I show you now, uh, where are we, uh, USDN, so the policy that the central bank are making, not only the chart, can also allow an investor that is want to invest in a foreign exchange to convert one currency into another. So you see the British, you see here, the dollar was appreciating the yen since 2012, you see now. Now, the reason was that, okay, the Federal Reserve in the United States was saying that they're going to stop their quantitative easing. They will stop devaluing the dollar and soon they will start putting up interest rate. That's the information, the critical, the million dollars information. 
So, for instance, those who are in Japan, what will they do? They have all their account in yen. They know that the yen will be weakening against the dollar. What do they do? They start converting the yen into dollar. And now those people are taking profit here because they make a lot of money. You see, this is the approach. This is the practical forex exchange investment tips and tips for active investors. Normally, I should be charging you for this information. But because you are my friend, all right, I'll give it to you for free. So you can play this also, all right? You can play this, uh, all right? You, a, convert one currency to another. It's a game that people are doing for years. Okay, this is the British pound against the dollar. All right? So, all right? So those who have the, if you, if this is not very neat right now, it's not very neat, all right? Because there are other things going on because of the Federal Reserve policy, it's difficult for an American to start converting the dollar into the pound because the policy in that test, that's what I'm saying to you, it's not all about technical trading alone. There are other factors that one should take into consideration. So apart from the chart, pay attention to the central bank decision and the macroeconomic condition that can help your uh, investment decision. So this will conclude our discussion today about practical for foreign exchange investment tips and tricks for active investors. If you have any question or suggestion, uh, please put in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other uh, foreign exchange traders or investors, please share it with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, on Facebook, and also on Tumblr. Alright, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, our channel is 24 Forex Trader. Digital, digital for a trader. Subscribe today, it is free. All right. If you are watching the video on Facebook, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube also. If you are watching this video on YouTube, know our Facebook page. It is uh, stochastic dash MACD. Like our Facebook page because sometimes I'm posting video first on Facebook before posting them on YouTube. Sometimes I post them first on YouTube before posting them on okay Facebook. So you want to know what's going on. On YouTube and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about practical foreign exchange investment tips and tips for active investors. Thank you for watching.